Hello friends, welcome to my channel Go Techno by MKBJ. In this video, we will discuss how you can easily install latest Raspbian OS that is Buster as per 2020 in your Raspberry Pi 3, 3 Plus or 4 in a complete headless mode that is you do not need any keyboard mouse for this installation and it will be complete headless. All you need is a Mac or a PC. In this video, I am using a Mac uh, for this installation and uh, you need a few softwares the link for these softwares are in the description these are totally free and i will explain how to use them and the third thing you need is the ethernet cable that is also uh, needed uh, so this is this is the this kind of ethernet cable you need for this installation and of course you need a raspberry pi this is raspberry pi 4 2 gb which i am using in this video and also you need uh, memory card here i'm using a 64 gb memory card so first of all let's take out the memory card so i will cut it so here is the memory card now i will i have this adapter from sandisk which will convert the micro to the macro and i will put it and i have to plug it in my mac now we'll go to the computer screen so as a first step we need to go to google chrome and uh, type it in here sd card for matter so click on the first link you are getting which is sdcard.org so here you have to download this software for mac and for windows both for both it is available uh, so I have already installed it so I will just uh, open my SD card formatter here so you can see that the card is automatically loaded here and we just need to click quick format and uh, just format it say continue and you need to type your password for your Mac and that's it the card is now formatted in the, the file system is xfat which is okay for us and now we'll close this so the second thing is we need to go to raspberry site which is uh, raspberrypi.org so i will open this site awesome now you have to go to the download section simply you need to click on the raspbian so here you will see the list of OS available. Uh, I would recommend you go for SPN Buster with desktop and recommended software. That is what I have already with me. And uh, for installation, I will recommend you to go to download torrent and not download zip because the download zip will take longer times. So I would recommend going with download torrent, which will be much faster. Uh, but I have already downloaded it. So I will simply go to my download section in my drive and uh, I can scroll to my recipe and buster full image so this is what the image i already have so before burning it to my card i would need another software which is called balan etcher so for this you have to simply type on the google balan etcher so this is available for both windows and mac so here is the site so you can download it windows and mac so it is available for both so now simply install it i have already downloaded it so i will simply open my balanature uh, software so here it is so I will open it so now what next you need to do is so first you have to go to select image and uh, choose the image what you downloaded so in my case i have already downloaded it so i will choose this simply say open so it is 6.43 GB and uh, my my memory card is already selected so I need not to change it and now you have to simply say flash and it will ask for your password simply provide it so it will take approximately 10 to 15 minutes to completely flash the image to your memory card so be patient so meanwhile we can discuss about this beautiful case which i have uh, ordered from amazon so if you want this kind of case it, 
is available in the Amazon and the link in the description so if you purchase it from my links I will get some commission so please uh, motivate me by clicking in the link so this is the complete case you can close it like this and see how beautiful it looks so now the flash is complete but what the software does it unmounts the SD card but since we have to perform some configuration on the SD card we need to mount it back so for doing that we need to simply put the SD card out like this and uh, we need to insert it back so now our drive will read the card so now you can see here boot is uh, available so simply click on it so the next thing we need to do is we have to make a file named ssh uh, in the sd card so we can simply copy any file copy any file so here i am copying the copying this config text so now i have to simply duplicate it and uh, i will change the name to ssh so only ssh should be written here and delete the extension also so like this now we have this ssh uh, file available so this ssh file is required to remotely log in to the raspberry pi when we insert the card into it so now we will eject the card like this and uh, we have to take out the card so now we will take out the card from our laptop and we will put it in the raspberry pi memory card slot so now the memory card is inserted inside the raspberry pi and now we have to connect the lan cable with it so we have this lan cable and i am connecting it in the lan slot into the raspberry pi and also i will connect the power cable with it so i will connect the power cable now like this and now you will see the red light and green light flashing so this is a good sign now it is turning on okay so now we can switch back to our computer screen and we can uh, close this window we can close this window and now we have to open terminal right terminal here so we'll clear all these things by typing clear so but first we need to find out what IP address the Raspberry Pi is using so that we can SSH into that so for that we need one software called Zen map so now we, have, we need to go to Google again and type Zen map so this is a software which is uh, required to identify the IP addresses um, which are running which are connecting to your router so I will open it and you can simply download it from this download section so I have already already downloaded it installed it so I will simply open it my Zen map software like this it will ask for a password just provide it so now you will see this kind of screen here and now it is asking the target so simply put 192.168 dot one dot zero dash twenty four so what, uh, what we are doing is we are uh, saying that look for these IP addresses and uh, choose quick scan here and simply say scan so it will take approximately 10 seconds great so now you can see this Raspberry Pi is listed here and the IP address it is using is 192.168 dot one dot six so now again going back to the terminal and we'll simply type ssh pi at the rate 192.168.1.6 the one which is uh, mentioned over here and simply say enter now it will ask that are you sure you want to connect continue connecting so we'll say yes and it will ask for the password so every time for the raspberry pi the, the password will be raspberry so it is r a s p p e r r five simply say enter 
So now you see we have SSH into the Pi successfully. So the last part is how we can view the desktop of Raspberry Pi in our Mac or PC. So for that we have to simply type in a command called sudo recipe-config and uh, this kind of screen will get open and uh, you have to go to the interfacing options and here SSH you have to simply enable it yes so the SSH is enabled and again go to interfacing options and go to VNC enter and also you need to enable the VNC so yes so the VNC server is also now enabled and uh, we can click finish this you have to go here by clicking the right and left arrows to go to select or finish so simply say finish and it is always the best best practice to reboot your machine so you will type sudo reboot so now now the Raspberry Pi will be rebooting meanwhile to view the desktop on your system you need to have VNC viewer installed the link for this also I have given the description so uh, for that you need to go to or we just go to Google and type VNC viewer so download VNC viewer you open it by pressing command and space and VNC viewer so to, to view the desktop I have to now provide the IP address of the Raspberry Pi and uh, we know from the Zen map that the IP address is 192.168.1.6 so I will simply type in here 192.168.1.6 and now you can simply click on can continue and now you have to provide your username and password details which is pi as the username and password is raspberry and you can check on the remember password and say ok ok so you can see this kind of error is coming cannot currently show the desktop and the solution is very simple I will tell you how to solve this also so again going to our terminal window I will SSH into my Pi provide the password and now I have to again type in the command sudo recipe-config and now what you have to do is you have to go to advanced options and go to the resolution and simply change the resolution to any resolution you want but not default so change from the default so I am selecting 1218 to 1024 say ok ok finish and reboot yes uh, so now I will, I will again type the IP address the enter and now you can see the screen is now available to you that's awesome thanks for watching guys and uh, I hope you like the video please do subscribe share and uh, comment for whatever issues you have i will try to solve all the issues thank you